install this processor. It's a 3700X processor into a Gigabyte B550i motherboard. It's a mini ITX. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this block of aluminium. So it gives me more access um, to put the cooler on. Let's turn that off for now. Right, so the first thing is um, let's undo the arm. So undo the arm to get strength. That releases the socket and allows the pins to go in. Let's be incredibly careful with the processor because on the AMD processors the pins are on the actual processor. Right, let's grab the processor and you can see there there's no end of pins and if you bend or break them it won't work anymore. Right so the thing to look for is on the motherboard there's a little triangle. You can just see it in this location here. There's a little triangle there and we need to make sure the processor goes on the right way. So on the front side of the processor you can actually just see a very tiny triangle in that corner. To make sure it's the right triangle, if we flip it the other side, you can see a bigger triangle there. So it's that triangle that needs to line up with that corner to make sure you've got it the right way around. So it actually goes on that way around. Yep, so let's just align it. So it's just to try and align it as best as possible. There we go. And that's gone in. I always give it a bit of a press down to make sure it's not sitting proud and it is actually in the socket properly. But that looks okay and it just a fraction movement in there, that's okay. So the processor is in. Let's put the arm down over the little catch. So you've got the catch at that location, it's now caught, and that's grabbed the CPU. Right, this uh, particular processor comes with the uh, prism cooler and the prism cooler's got the thermal paste already applied and it's not quite how they used to do it. It looks like um, there's a lot less thermal paste on there than they used to put on um, in the past. It looks quite good actually. So let's try and put this on. You shouldn't really need to force this into place. It should go on nice and easily if you get it the right way around. Um, on this particular motherboard, the uh, the fan header is at this location, and I want to make sure um, the cable is the same side. It probably would reach from the other side, but I'm going to keep it this side, I think. So I'm going to put the cooler on in that orientation. So you've got this spring clip mechanism to hold the cooler in place. Um, so what I do is just, just push that right there, so that's at maximum extension. And the socket itself, um, it's got sort of on the clips uh, a piece that bottoms the cooler out at this point and this point and it sort of sits in here and sits on top here so let's have a, let's have a go right so what we're trying to do now is tilt the tilt the cooler this way fractionally so I can uh, hook it around this uh, this hook let's see if I can so you've got the hook there so I'm trying to tilt it around the hook There we go. Right, so that's now sitting against the socket. It's on there. Coming around to the other side. You can see it's not quite in the right place, so I need to move that out. There we go. So this, there's no need to force the, the cooler down. It should just fit in there nicely. So I always double check to make sure it's definitely on the hook and that side looks okay. And that side looks okay. Now I'm checking the distance to the, the, the socket and it could, probably could go over that way a fraction. So I might just push it a fraction. There we go. So now it's sitting in the middle of the socket. Right, so now what we need to do is 
Uh, it's sitting on there nicely. Now we need to tighten it. And it's this lever arm here that we need to tighten. And it wants to go, uh, it's like on a cam. So it wants to move in that direction. So what I want to do, so I'm just going to push down gently on the, on the top of the CPU cooler and push that in that direction. Make sure it's on all the way down. Ooh, there we go. So the lever on there, it's straight. Now that is on solid. We can lift the board up now with that. And now I can just plug in, um, plug in this. Let's see. Which way around? Let's go that way around. down make sure it's bottomed out yep and that's how we install that process right so the cooler is in position the uh, the fans plugged in but now we need the the lights to work so it comes with these two cables and the one I'm going to use is the one that goes into the USB I think it's this one Got the USB end on it. Let's turn that off. Right, so on the cooler itself on the side, there's um, these like two rubber plugs. I think the one on this side is for this connector that's in the box. The one we want is actually on the right side. Let's take this little plug off. You can see the four pins and we've got the cable just making sure you get the cable the right way around so let's look it up um, right so the pins are lower down than the center line and on here they're lower down that way around so it goes in that way around it's just gently pushing it in Looks like it's in. Make sure, yeah, that's in. And then this goes into your um, USB header. So, looking at this board, there's quite a few different headers on it. I'm not quite sure which one's which. Usually, the um, the pins will tell you which one's the right header. So, in this particular case, the very bottom one here is the one that's blanked out. Um, and generally speaking, I don't think you can get it the wrong way around. So that header there is not the right one because it's not got the right uh, pin, nor is that one. If we look over here, that one looks like it's the right header. And I can just see on the board, very, very small, it says USB 1 on the board. So I know that's the right header. Just got to match uh, the, the way around that this, this goes on there. So um, the pin that's blanked off is this one. And that's the hole that's blanked off, so it has to go around that way around. There we go. And that's now on.